the streets seem noisy to anyone else? Ah, oh, over there. It's the Weasel King. Hearken to me, my children. After abandoning our kingdom to its fate, the Vestal then came slinking back to these borders to beg my forgiveness. And forgive her I did, for I saw not to be gained from excoriating a girl for her egregious failures. My clemency was met with willful pride. She promised to return the wind to motion single-handedly. Yet, what has come of it? Nothing will save the southern sky set ablaze with a malefic light. The Vestal failed to restore the wind and brought still greater calamity upon our heads. As proof, look no further than the stagnant air around you. I can but blame my own wishful ignorance for this latest turn of events. I ought never have entrusted this matter to a relic of a bygone era. The Crystal Orthodoxy is a dream of the past. The Vestal obsolete. Her inability to ensure the Crystal's function is manifest. Join me, my people. Let us rely upon the Vestal no longer. It is our own efforts that will see this kingdom saved. The labor service is your sacred duty, your pride as citizens. All who work beyond 20 hours a day will receive a royal commendation. And in the wake of this tribulation, Ansheim will emerge a new land. Our new history begins now! Wait! What? Uh, the Vestal? Worry no longer, people of Ansheim! I have just awakened the Crystal of Wind! Lying witch! Then why does the air remain still? It's true. There's no wind. The Grand Mill isn't turning. The King may be right. <gasps> Don't be afraid. The footsteps you've carved will be a guide to these people, Agnes. They just need a light to show the way. A spark of hope. Please, give me the courage. you listen the winds that washed over this land without end for so long stopped a vast darkness split the earth in the kingdom of Kaldisla. an entire village was devoured the seas fester fish wash up upon our shores twisted and lifeless even ships are unsafe from this corrosion all the world's people all life is crying out in pain your suffering is mirrored in every corner of existence. I was dispatched by His Majesty to leave these borders and survey the damage firsthand. My conclusion is absolutely certain. The four crystals have been clouded over with a powerful darkness. On my return, I found the crystal of wind in the clutches of a terrible monster. Its influence had sealed away the crystal's light entirely. <laughs> you reward our patience with fabrications and fantasy. Utterly ridiculous. This is no fantasy. The beast fell before me and my companions. I present this to you as proof. Those chains! The chains that circled the beast Orthros! The Tempest Braid? That can't... It's only a legend! A story from the old crystal of scriptures! But here they are! The Vestals brought us Tempest Braid! Then... Then Orthros was no legend! And the Vestals slain it! Preposterous! The chains are fake! Like your ridiculous story! There's still no wind! The wind is coming! Two thousand years the Vestals have prayed! Their lives have been the Crystal's nourishment! And now... Now they feed the wind! 
It's... She's right. The wind... The wind has returned! The winds are back! The Grand Mill! It's turning! Him finna be mad, man. Of course you did. And they love you for it. They found new hope in your words. You were amazing, Anya. And Vestals are a force for good. That speech struck any doubt from my mind. Naturally. I knew it from the moment I first saw you. They're all calling out to you. Go on and answer them. I don't... You're a savior to the kingdom, Lady Vestal! A savior to all of us! And at such a young age, the Vestals are a blessing upon this world! Forgive us for failing to aid you when the wind stopped! We were lost! Please, continue to guide the winds and this nation's people! Lead and we will follow! I thank you all, but I fear I cannot stay. The shadow of danger has been driven from Anchai, but darkness persists elsewhere in the world. I must join with the other Vestals and see that all mankind is ransomed from this terrible threat. That is my duty as a Vestal of the Crystals. It pains me to leave your side again so soon. I ask your patience. And your forgiveness. <laughs> she grieves not just for Anshine's pain, but that of all the world. We thought only of her own misfortunes, but the Vestal... Lady Vestal! Know that you go with all our prayers. Please help them. Help the others as you've helped us. Be strong, Lady Vestal! <gasps> I thank you. Your faith moves me beyond words. I shall see this task complete and then return to you. I swear. Uh, what perverse farce is this? This cannot be so. I shall not be undone by a, a, a child. I am king. King. And a king does not forget his enemies. Ah! Alright. So now he's done whining like a little huh? trying to move on.
Departing already, Lady Vestal. Forgive me. I am Prime Minister Dominus Farina. Your words to the people shook me to my core. Between you and me, I suspect they rattled the king's cage as well. He looked positively deflated. Small wonder. Having his little speech so thoroughly derailed must have been a blow to his royal ego. It will recover, though. It always does. Meanwhile, where will you go from here? To Florum, land of radiant flowers and the water crystal. I see. But how will you manage the journey with seas unnavigable? The inner sea was spared by some merciful stroke of fate, but no port or sandy shore exists on the Florum side. You might travel by land, but the forests along the way are suffused with a noxious fog. The path is most dangerous. Seems we're blocked on all sides. Any ideas? No. But the Sage of the Yulyana Woods may know some way. Then it's to the airship and to Yulyana and beyond. Say the word, Agnes, and I shall lend wings to your every whim. Just to Yulyana, please. What do you got them? They have a, uh, a scenario over here. They got another sub scenario. Is it here? any deeper and it'll crush our lungs we'll not make it through these woods without some better plan So what the hell? It's supposed to be a sub. 
a sub scenario right there. Wind is back and the workers have been set free, but security is still tight, oddly tight. I'm over here thinking it's, it's supposed to be like a I don't know why it's not showing I guess it's not maybe I haven't unlocked it yet or something I'm down it's a bug because the, the damn thing is right there but to the next spot. jealousy I detect? Perhaps it's you who's upset by... <laughs> I can think of no sadder creature in this world than a man unable to inspire a little jealousy. A... For now, I need some air. All this riding on the waves is... <laughs> Do you suppose he's alright? Oh, leave him. A little seasickness will keep him quiet. Agnes, do you know the other Vestals? In your speech, you mentioned working with them. Oh. It is my hope that such a collaboration can be achieved, but I have yet to meet the Vestals of Earth or Fire. I know only the Water Vestal, Olivia. I have since we were children as our temples stand in neighboring kingdoms. Since we became Vestals in full, we've exchanged no correspondence, but I fear the rotting of the seas is proof enough that some ill has befallen the water crystal. I pray that Olivia has fared better.
That was fast. Feeling better? Vestal of the Wind Crystal, Agnes Oblige. Surrender at once, or see your companion slain. You! Dark Knight Alternus Dim! Who? What? Idea? You're all right. We've been mad with worry. But you are a captive to the Vestal no longer. Come, I will see she makes no move. Quickly, to my side. Come away from the Vestal. No, you keep away from him! If you intend to hurt Agnes or Tiz, you'll answer to me for it. What? What madness is this? You speak nonsense! I'm not her captive, and she poses no threat. I'm here of my own free will. What then? You betrayed the duchy? Betrayed your father? Have you lost your mind, girl? I'm entirely sane. In fact, there's much I've only begun to see clearly now that I've gone traitor. No more of this! Idea, bind the Vestal's hands. Do this now, and I'll forget all you said here. Please. It seems you've already forgotten. I said no, Alternus. What new form of torment is this? I cannot bear these games, Adia. Do not do this to me. Take one step closer to Anyas and I'll do a lot worse. This is my decision. I'll hold nothing back. I may not be able to best you even so, but I will see that you bleed before I die. You're certain, then? I'm certain. Silencing you would be a simple task, but one slip of my hand and even the flat of my blade would mean your end. I'm a poor hand at holding back. Then don't bother. I'm not the sort to be cowed by threats, Din. Perhaps I get that from my father. <laughs> I cannot keep this from your father. I ask once more, will you reconsider? My mind is set. Stubborn girl! You're... Very well. I shall withdraw for now. But know this, Vestal. You and your abettors are ever under our watch. What you aim to do runs counter to the flow of progress. You place mankind on the road to annihilation. I'll not allow you to go unchecked. It's time your wings were clipped. Yeah. Oh, the Sky Stone! Cool your head before we next meet, Nadia. wasn't much use back there. If I'd been more... You're safe. That is all I ask. Idea! Who was that man? He knew you! He's a member of the Council of Six. The Duchy of Eternia's highest governing body. And the six people sending an army after Agnes. Your tone was familiar. You were close? We grew up together. Rejoice, jolly companions. I found the loveliest seashells out there. Here, a gift from... <sighs> hmm? Did I miss something? <sighs> you really are hopeless, Ringabel. Hmm? Well? No good, I'm afraid. She won't budge an inch off the ground. Seems we're earthbound until we've another one of these sky stone things. 
Murderka. Blast that alternate! And me for not seeing this coming! But we can't sit and stew here. Hurry up and do something! If the ship's grounded, that leaves travel by foot. I suppose we'll have to try our luck with this forest and its miasma. What the hell, we gotta go around? Turn of the winds has thinned out the miasma forest. Whatever the cause, we'd best take advantage of it. If we can pass, let us do so now. One day beneath a blue sky. Infamous allies of hers really so strong as to cow even you, Dark Knight. They... No. Among those I saw accompanying the Vestal, one of them was Adia. My, my, my. This is a twist. Quite so. A shocking turn. So what then? You saw her, tucked your tail, and ran home crying? <laughs> How miserable! Still, if this is the truth, it is a troubling one. We look to you to lead all the Eternian forces, Lord Marshal. For your daughter to abet the Vestal is problematic. How would you have us proceed? Any who would join the Vestal in opposing us must be eliminated. Their birth matters not. Ah, bold words. But how truthful, I wonder. You would really allow her elimination? Your lordship! The task before us is larger than us all. I'll not allow private matters to slow its course. Then, I shall go and speak with her again. Surely. I will go. It seems the Water Vestal is proving a problem as well. I shall go and pluck the both of them. I expect a suitable shower of accolades upon my successful return. Come, Victor! As you command.
Lord Marshal, are you certain of this? Oh, this would be a good idea to get the anti-poison gauntlets. Damn, I can't do nothing. 